Vero Beach is aptly known as the gem of Florida's treasure coast. But are you familiar with the old saying, not all that glitters is gold? Today's topic might surprise you. Stick with me and I'll uncover three reasons why you should avoid living in or moving to Vero Beach. If you don't already know me, my name is Rachel Carroll. I'm the face of the Carroll Home Team here on YouTube. My husband and I run a real estate team here in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida. We help home buyers and sellers accomplish their real estate goals. And at this point, we've been able to help almost a thousand Treasure Coast residents. So if at any point you wanna pick our brain, please get in touch. All of our contact information is in the description below there for you. Vero Beach is known for its beautiful beaches, its warm weather, its laid back lifestyle. This quaint seaside city that's nestled along the Atlantic coast of Florida may seem like a real life paradise, but there are some things that one might want to seriously consider before deciding to move here. As with any location, it's important to consider all the aspects before making such an important decision. First and foremost, one potential drawback of Vero Beach is the cost of living. The median household income is just $54,000 a year, yet the average medium home price is just shy of $400,000, and that's a tight squeeze for a working class family. While it may not be as expensive as some major cities, it can still be pricier compared to other areas in Florida. Housing costs in particular can be a bit higher specifically in Vero Beach, especially if you're looking for a waterfront property or a home close to the beach. Another factor to consider is the limited job market. Vero Beach is a smaller city and the job opportunities can be somewhat limited, especially in certain industries. So if you're looking for a diverse range of career options or specialized industries, you might find yourself facing some challenges here. Now, Vero Beach is known for its retirement communities, attracting many retirees who are seeking a peaceful and serene lifestyle. And while this can be a positive aspect for some, it might not be ideal for younger individuals or families looking for a vibrant and bustling community with a thriving nightlife, cultural events, and a wide range of recreational activities. Over the years, Vero Beach has been jokingly called Zero Beach by Vero's youth because they deem that there's nothing to do. Vero Beach, while beautiful, is a smaller city with a more laid back atmosphere. And if you're someone who craves a vibrant arts and cultural scene, big name concert, a wide range of dining options, Vero Beach may not offer as much variety compared to larger metropolitan areas. It's important to consider your preferences for recreational activities, entertainment, and cultural activities before making a decision. Also, Vero Beach, like many smaller cities, may have a less diverse population compared to larger urban areas. So, if you value living in a multicultural and diverse community, Vero Beach might not provide the same level of cultural variety or exposure to different perspectives as you might find in more metropolitan locations. All right, so here's my third concern. While the warm climate of Vero Beach is appealing to many, it's important to note that it also leaves us susceptible to natural disasters. Being located on the Atlantic coast, Vero Beach is at risk of hurricanes and tropical storms during the Atlantic hurricane season, which typically runs from like June to November. If you have concerns about weather-related events or the potential impact they might have on your daily life, Vero Beach's geographical location might give you pause. 62% of all properties in Vero Beach have greater than a 26% chance of being severely affected by flooding over the next 30 years. Now, this is in no way meant to scare anyone out of buying a home in Vero Beach. In the 10 years I've lived here, I've not experienced any real significant dam damaging flooding, thank heavens. However, we are indeed at sea level, nestled up against the Atlantic Ocean and prone to severe weather-related conditions through a portion of the year. I, it would be remiss not to talk about this in this specific video. If you do plan to move to the area, you need to make sure you have a disaster preparedness plan for the hurricane season. If you stay tuned, I'll be releasing our updated hurricane prep tips for our next weekly video on this channel. And that's your 
cue to go click on the subscribe button now. Remember, these points are not meant to discourage anyone, but to provide a balanced perspective. Every location has its pros and its cons, and it's essential to weigh them according to your individual preferences and circumstances. So, if you're looking for homes in Vero Beach and you have happened upon this video, if this information is helpful to you, give us a call because that's just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what we can provide to you and advise you on during your house hunt. Whether you're looking for a peaceful retirement retreat or a family-friendly neighborhood, we have access to an extensive network of listings that cater to diverse lifestyles and budgets, and we pride ourselves on our high level of client care. Connect with us today and together we can explore Vero Beach's real estate market, discuss your specific requirements and find the ideal property for you. Whether it's negotiating the best price, guiding you through the buying process or answering any questions you may have, myself and my team are here to provide you with exceptional service and expertise. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more exciting content. And as always, let us know your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. See you in the next video.